I'm a little late to the Helix game. There's plenty of reasons for that. Mainly, I didn't think I needed one. I'm a traditional tube amp and pedal board guy. I pretty much always have been. And on top of that, I also have a Kemper. So for the last three years, I looked at the Helix and thought, yeah, not for me. But since I started this YouTube channel, I've had people commenting on my videos asking, what do you think about the Helix? Have you tried the Helix? Man, the Helix would be perfect for what you're doing. And so after about 12 months of that, I'll admit, I got a little curious. So about six weeks ago, I reached out to Line 6 to see if I could get my hands on a Helix. And they very graciously sent me out a Helix and a PowerCab Plus to try out and use on the channel. Now, to be honest, I'm not interested in doing a Helix demo. That's not what this video is. There's already tons of those out on the internet now. Instead, today, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the Helix after taking it on the road for the last month and using it in real world gigging applications. What I think about it, how it compares to a traditional tube amp and pedal board setup, and how it compares to the Kemper Profiler. <laughs> So if you've been keeping up with my channel over the past six weeks, you'll know I've been on the road with Noah Guthrie and Good Trouble. We were opening for Dwight Yoakam on an East Coast tour, about six shows. It was a lot of fun, and I used the Helix and the PowerCab Plus for all of those shows and rehearsals exclusively. I didn't take my pedal board, I didn't take any amps, nothing. Now I did this because I really wanted to try out the Helix and force myself to learn it. I was not about to take a piece of gear on the road unless I really understood the ins and outs of how it worked and how to get the most out of it. So the first thing I did when I unboxed the Helix was start from scratch. I didn't use any of the stock Line 6 presets at all. I started by building sounds that I know that I like to use in real life. So an AC30 style amp, a divided by 13 style amp, a Supro, a couple of Fenders, and then I used those amp templates to build sounds for the Noah Guthrie set list. Now, if you're interested in checking out those presets, they're all available for download in the description box below. Now my live setup of the Helix was pretty simple. I was just using the stereo outs, the XLRs going into our in-ear monitor rig on stage. And from there it was going to the front of house. So the house was just seeing the stereo outs of the Helix. I'm using all stock cabs. I'm not using any aftermarket IRs. And the Power Cab Plus was just there for stage volume. And technically because we were running in-ear monitors, I didn't need the Power Cab at all, but I chose to use it because A, I wanted to try it out and see how it sounded. And B, I like having a little bit of stage volume when I'm playing, even if I'm on in-ears. Now this gets into my first thing I really dig about the Helix. And that is the ease of setup and breakdown. When you're an opening band, you don't have a lot of time for changeover, getting on and off stage. So it helps having a really compact, easy to set up, easy to break down rig. And every day my load in was super easy. I could load my entire rig into the venue in one trip. I have my two guitars in their mono bag. I have the power cab in one hand and the Helix in its backpack in the other. And I would just walk straight into the venue. Then when we were done playing, it was a really quick, easy breakdown. Turn the Helix off, pull the XLR snake, unplug the power cab, and take everything off stage in one or two trips. It was really, really great for that.
So how does the Helix compare to a traditional tube amp and pedal board setup? Well, there's no question that a great tube amp with a couple of really good pedals and a great player in front of it is the sound. It is the tone. And quite frankly, it's the benchmark that all of these modeling and profiling devices are trying to meet. I mean, it's impossible to beat the touch sensitivity, the responsiveness of a real amp, the natural power section overdrive that you get from diming something like a Plexi or even that divided by 13. Traditional amps a lot of times have a warmth and a punch to them that really you can't get in the digital world. But that being said, we're really close. See, I think we're close enough in tone nowadays that the benefits of something like the Line 6 Helix make it worth the difference in tone it has from a real tube amp. What I mean by that is the convenience, the reliability, the fact that you have basically every effect that you would ever need, plus every amp that you would ever want and every speaker cabinet and microphone that you could ever want crammed into one box that sits in front of you where your pedal board would on stage. While it might not be quite as good as the real thing, I think it's close enough. It's close enough for most working players. I think it's close enough for people that can't afford to drop tens of thousands of dollars into guitar amps and pedals and accessories. Now, I say this as someone who is a tube amp player and someone who has a traditional modular pedal board setup. I'm not going to do away with that setup, but with something like the Helix, I'm gonna think twice about taking my big, heavy, expensive amps and pedals out when I can just take the single floor unit in its backpack and my guitar. This means it's a great option for fly dates or opening runs like I just did, where I maybe don't want to worry about bringing my big expensive amps or relying on some backline amp that I don't know and don't trust when I can have my exact tone as I created it anywhere in the world. reality is everything that I've said about the Helix so far also applies to the Kemper. They're both digital modelers. They both sound great. They both are loaded with features and effects. They're both reliable. They're both easy to run stereo. But the thing is, despite their similarities, I actually think they're two different tools. They accomplish the same thing, but they go about it in completely different ways. And because of that, I don't think one is necessarily better than the other. And I would include the tube amp and pedal board setup in that as well. I think the Kemper is much closer to a traditional tube amp. Depending on the profiles you have, it sounds closer to a real amp. It responds closer to a real amp than the Helix does. It also takes analog pedals in the front end like a real tube amp does. So because of that, I look at the Kemper as a chameleon amp. It is a traditional amp that can be basically anything. You want it to sound like a Dumble. If you've got great Dumble profiles, you can do that. You want a Tweed Deluxe. You want a Matchless Lightning 15. You want an FTR 37. The Kemper will do all that to excruciating detail, but there are a few shortcomings that the Helix absolutely dominates the Kemper at. First and foremost, the built-in effects. Now, Line 6 are legendary effect manufacturers. You think of the DL4, you think of the M-series multi-effects units, they know how to make great sounding effects. And that's really, I think, the biggest selling point of the Helix and the Helix family of units are the built-in effects, the overdrives, the boosts, the modulation effects, the reverbs all sound really good. And quite frankly, the effects blow the Kemper out of the water. 
I say that even with the Kemper's most recent update where they released all of the new reverbs. Now, don't get me wrong, the new delays and reverbs on the Kemper sound good, but if it's up to me and I'm using the Kemper, I'm gonna be using one of my outboard delays or reverbs. What you would get from Strymon or GFI system or Source Audio is gonna be leagues better than the built-in effects on the Kemper. But on the Helix, the difference is not so great. Now I will say the Helix took a little bit of getting used to coming from something like the Kemper. The way the signal flow is routed is much different than anything I've used before. So there was a learning curve associated with it, but it wasn't that hard to wrap my head around. The Kemper is more of a plug and play type unit. You flip it on, you plug into it, you find a preset that you like and you go. The Helix definitely takes a little more tweaking. But that being said, once I figured out how to get the Helix to sound like a real amp, I just applied those settings to all of my presets and left it. So should you buy a Helix? Well, it's tough to say. I think this is a decision you have to make for yourself, but I think the Line 6 Helix is an incredibly useful tool that would work well for just about any guitar player out there. It's a more holistic approach to a modeler than something like the Axe Effects or the Kemper because it is in one self-contained unit. You don't have to have a separate remote and a cable that connects them. It's incredibly versatile and I think it sounds good enough to work in almost every situation you would find yourself in. If you're interested in checking out my Helix Profiles presets, profiles are Kemper, presets are Helix. That's been the hardest part of like learning this whole thing is remembering presets and profiles. So let me know what you think about the Helix in the comment section down below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you thinking about picking one up? Let me know. If you wanna check out my Helix presets, you can find those linked down below in the description box. I also have a wide variety of Kemper profiles for those of you that are Kemper players and Helix players. You can check those out below as well. If you wanna support the channel directly, check out the green room linked down below as well. You can join the discussions that are happening over there. Check out my weekly lessons that I post and sign up for monthly Skype sessions with me. If you want to see where I'm playing live and whom with, you can check out my website, retstall.com under the shows tab. I keep that updated regularly. So if I'm coming to a town or city near you, come out to a show and say, hey. Anyways, I'm Retstall. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one.